What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another D5 render tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the new path placement tool for vegetation in order to quickly add vegetation into your scenes. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so what we've got here is we've got a scene. It's just a simple piece of ground that I brought in from a SketchUp model. And what I wanna do is I wanna add some trees to the scene. And so the way that we can do that in the new version of D5 Render is there's an option up here for draw vegetation. And the brush and the scatter, I think were here before, but we wanna focus on the path tool. So what the path tool is gonna do is that's gonna allow us to select some trees. So, or really any items, I think, but specifically trees. And we're gonna add them to our scene. So I'm just gonna select these three trees by checking the box and then I can kind of zoom in a little bit and I'm just going to single click and then move my mouse and click again. And actually notice how if I click again, I can actually set trees along a path that is more than just straight. But now we're going to click on the button for done. What that's done is that's added trees to our path, right? So we now have a path along which these objects are going to be scattered. And so notice how what we can do over here is we can manage those different objects that are going along that path. So for example, you can adjust the number of items in here. And notice what it's doing is it's randomly placing those items in your scene. Notice how it's currently placing those items along the path um, at kind of a standard spacing. Right, so we're not gonna worry too much about the spacing for right now, but notice how it's basically randomly placing a collection of these objects in that scene. Let's say, for example, that we didn't want this model in here anymore. We just click on the minus, and it's gonna get rid of that model from our list of models that are being placed in here. You can also click on the plus button, and then go back and select this object again over here in your D5 render assets. So then, what we can do is let's take a little let's take a look at some of the options for what we can do in order to randomize these. So first things first, you can adjust the number of items. We've already talked about that. You can also adjust the direction that these are facing by clicking and dragging this. So notice how right now they're kind of uniform. They're all kind of facing the same direction. Well, there's an option over here to randomize the direction that they're facing and you can drag this in order to get that in your scene. In addition, you can also set the random spacing along the path like this. You can also set if they're gonna be fixed along the path or if they're gonna be kind of offset from the path. So notice how you can use this in order to set how far from the center of the path they are. So this is gonna be more useful for like a straight line. So let's say for example that we wanted to edit our path. So I'm just going to hit the delete key. I'm gonna select this and hit the delete key. And then we'll just click and drag this so that our path is kind of a straight line right here. So now our path has been edited and we can go back in and work with this. But now if we were to set the random offset, notice how these will go further or these will be randomly offset from the central point of our path that we've created. And then you can add more objects like this. And notice how you could use this to really quickly populate like a forest or something like that inside of your scene. So you could also adjust the size of the objects with the slider. So if you don't want them to be quite so big, you can drag this down. If you want them to be bigger, you can drag it up. I think you're limited to, it looks like you go from either 0.1 up to two. So you can't do any more than two in here. But then the other thing you could do is you could also give these a random size. So again, this is a really fast way to add vegetation to your models. And so let's say we were to create some simple hilly terrain like this, so it's not flat like we had over here, it's gonna be hilly terrain. Well, what we can do here is if we were to use the path tool right now, and we'll just use those same tree assets at the moment, but if we were to use the same path tool right now, so we're gonna click on done, notice how Right now, these are kind of through your ground, right? But there's an option at the bottom for on the ground. And so if you select the option for on the ground, what that's gonna do is that's gonna make the objects that you select actually snap to the ground along which your path has been created. So this is gonna go in and kind of do the smart, it's gonna do the smart or the thinking for you of where those need to be in order for that to work. 
And notice how that's going to continue to work if you do that smart offset as well. So notice how basically what this is doing is this is just dropping these down until they intersect with a ground plane or whatever's in your model. So you can use this in order to quickly add um, trees to terrain as well. So one other thing to note about this is you're not limited to just trees. So let's say you wanted to add a new path, you could select other assets in here as well. Like for example, these bushes, um, you could probably do it with characters as well. I haven't really tested that. Most of the time you're gonna use this for either like trees or you might use it for like cars and parking spaces or something like that. But let's say we were to do a path over here like this. Well, instead of doing the trees, I wanna add the bush models. So I'm going to select this model right here. Then we'll click plus again. We'll add this model right here. Then we'll get rid of our tree. Well, notice how now what that's going to allow us to do is that's going to allow us to place these bushes in the scene instead of just the uh, instead of just the tree assets that we had in here before. So if I bring up the number of items in here, we could set our random spacing, our random offset. Notice how I can use this to quickly add these to the scene, just like this. So this can make adding vegetation in your scenes super simple. All right, so I will link to my overview of what was contained inside of the D5 Render 2.0 release on this page. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this tool and the release in general. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content in the future. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.